Hi, I'm Sam Matthews and uh, I am the head coach of Team West, also better known as the managing director and owner of Fnatic. Um, apart from just generally uh, being a nice guy, I think the job is more like to motivate them to do well against the opponent team, which is the Team East. And obviously for us, it's a matter of our Counter-Strike team is probably a better lineup than our uh, Warcraft 3 guys. However, you know, on any given Sunday, it may be that the Warcraft 3 guys can pull it out of the bag, especially Luceferon can do amazing things, and Grubby, obviously, and Hussubes isn't too bad on his good days. Um, but yeah, I think my main job is, is picking the lineups um, on, the, on which maps, and obviously I'm going to do that in conjunction with the players themselves. Um, well, obviously one of the biggest challenges of managing more than one team is you, the, th the biggest thing that's going to have an effect is the fact that they may be relying on the team previously to have done well or done lost, and that's going to be a moral boost going into the next round. So I think the thing that we have to keep in mind is always your, you know, forget what's happened before, take it as it comes, and try and beat down the uh, the East teams. I mean, I think we're all taking it seriously, but it's it is a bit of fun, and we're out there to to, to have a different style tournament. So that's why they've got you know Aztec and Cobble in the map map pool, which is a bit different. Yeah, like I said before, I think it's it's a bit fun to do things differently because you know the same old Nuke Inferno, Train, Dust Two combo gets a bit boring sometimes. And I'm a big advocate of new maps because I think you know one of the good things about the StarCraft Two leagues in in Korea is they introduce a new map every season, and that means that new players get a chance to improve and come up with new tactics quicker. And it, it de generally means that the hungrier person will be able to adapt quicker and because they'll be able to train harder. Obviously this, these aren't new maps, these are very old maps, so I, I would rather obviously have uh, the old maps in play, um, the new, some new maps in play. I think the structure is interesting, um, I love the fact that it's, it's uh, Team West versus Team East, I, you know, it just gives a bit of a rivalry and a bit of camaraderie as well at the same time and then Team West camp um, and it's fun to see what happens. I'm fairly confident. I mean, this year we've got even better Counter-Strike teams, I think. We have the likes of uh, MTW and SK, which we didn't have last year. We had the MYM and Emulet combination, and I think uh, these two teams are very consistent. And so in terms of Counter-Strike, uh, we got it down, I believe, as, as you would say. In terms of Warcraft 3, I think it's a bit, um, you know, anybody's game. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm not as clued up on Warcraft 3. However, I do know that Lucifer and you can pull pull a big game these these days and Grubby's always got the power to, to do great things. Um, then again you've got Lin, Moon and uh, and Fly 100% so three amazing Korean players, uh, well not Korean players but Team East players so um, I think as long as one or two of our guys can uh, take down the opposing guys and we get a good 2 or 3-0 in the counter strike we should be good. Yeah, so we hit, we've choos, chosen the maps, I know that, and uh, we, we've done, I think, you know, you're as confident as you can be going into the next games. Um, it's a bit of fun. Uh, I think we're going to do it anyway. I think the only, could, the only possibility, a possible hiccup could be in Warcraft 3, where we're, the ones we predicted don't actually turn out to be that one, and you can't change it on the day, which is kind of a bit difficult. But I think, you know, it's anybody's game. We'll see what happens. Who brings the A game tomorrow? I think Team West has got a lot more experience when it comes to uh, sort of major tournaments. I mean, especially when, it, when you look at the Counter Strike size, you, you have three of the most experienced teams ever um, against three fairly unprepared, under, you know, tournament. I mean, the Asian teams have far less international experience, and I think that'll play a big role in, in the Counter-Strike side of things. In terms of Warcraft 3, obviously, Lin and Moon, extremely, extremely uh, experienced, and also you've got a much bigger competitive pool to play against in Asia. 
So I think, um, but then Grubby has probably been around the bush a bit. So uh, I think West has advantages about pure arrogance, uh, <laughs> obviously. And, you know, all I can say to that is uh, West Side. <laughs>